Hello everyone. Lynxes used to live in deep forests where humans rarely saw them. But that was the story of the past, and now, as food became scarce, these stealthy predators ventured beyond their home territories, moving closer to human settlements. For many nights, I watched the cunning lynx sneak through the darkness to steal my poultry, its emerald eyes gleaming in the darkness. My frustration grew with each loss, and I knew that something had to be done before this mysterious predator caused more damage. I made a firm decision to put an end to this, once and for all. But how could I confront one of nature's most elusive predators? To increase my odds of success, I always carry an electronic sound simulator that mimics the calls of my prey, luring the bobcats into range. For this particular hunt, I chose the Ruger American Predator .243 Win, a rifle known for its accuracy, lightweight design, and smooth action, perfect for sneak shots and quick tracking shots. The .243 Winchester caliber strikes the perfect balance, enough power to take a clean bobcat down without the excessive recoil that can throw off accuracy in tense moments. I chose a wide, open patch of grass. This was no random spot, I had scouted it carefully, knowing that the surrounding woods were perfect cover for a stealthy predator like a bobcat. Minutes passed, and then, from the shadows, a bobcat approached, staring straight at me. As it entered my effective range, no more than 70 yards away, I held my aim and waited for the perfect shot. Then, crack, a single, accurate round hit it square in the chest. The bobcat fell instantly. It wasn't just luck that made this hunt a success, it was careful planning, patience, and the right technology. Armed with a rifle and determination, I patrolled the perimeter, protecting my herd from predators. In the light of my night vision device, a silhouette suddenly appeared, large, sleek, and unmistakably feline. A bobcat, nearly 30 inches tall at the shoulder and weighing nearly 40 pounds, had stalked out of the woods, its eyes shining with predatory intent. My heart pounded, this was not a planned hunt, and my experience was limited, but instinct took over. I caught my breath, raised my rifle, and pulled the trigger. 
Incredibly, the shot was a clean hit. The Bobcat collapsed instantly under the moonlit sky. Oh, it's big. Dawn. Is this a second night out here with Dawn Steve? Behind the curtain of underbrush, I held my breath, watching a lynx, a creature both stealthy and dangerous, creep under the cover of silence. Its yellow eyes scanned the area, its ears twitching with every whisper of the wind. I knew that any sudden sound would send it fleeing back into the darkness of the forest. My heart raced in time with its calculated strides. Then it stopped, completely still, right in my sights. This was the moment I had been waiting for. I pulled the trigger. A thunderous shot broke the silence, and the impact sent the giant lynx crashing to the ground. Its mighty frame collapsed without a fight. After days of tracking and hours of silent waiting, the elusive predator was finally subdued. For nearly three hours, I lay perfectly still on a grassy knoll, hidden by the natural contours of the terrain and camouflaged by dense undergrowth. The wind was still, the tension was thick, and the seconds stretched endlessly as I waited for any sign of movement. Then, as the golden light of late afternoon filtered through the trees, a lynx emerged from the edge of the woods, its sleek body moving cautiously across the open space. Its sharp eyes locked on me, a silent confrontation between predator and hunter. In a split second, I tightened my grip and squeezed the trigger. The shot hit me square in the chest. The mighty cat collapsed instantly, its hunt had become its last. Hunting bobcats doesn't always require a rifle or high-tech equipment. Sometimes, patience and clever trap placement are all you need. One of the most effective strategies I rely on is the use of leg traps. To avoid accidentally harming pets or livestock, I carefully select trap locations deep in the woods, especially along trails that bobcats often travel. A small amount of fresh bait, such as fish scraps or feather bait, is placed nearby to increase the lure's effect. This approach greatly increases the success rate, especially when dealing with elusive and wary animals like bobcats. Unlike wild pigs or mountain lions, which live in rugged or scrubby terrain, bobcats typically roam in flat, open areas. First, I dig a shallow hole just big enough to set the trap, set the device so it's flush with the ground, then cover it with leaves, twigs, or a thin layer of soil, 
to ensure it blends in perfectly with its surroundings and add a little bait. The success of this hunting method depends not only on location, but also on understanding the natural behavior of bobcats. By strategically placing the traps along the trails where the bobcats often roamed, I freed myself up to set more traps elsewhere or go home and rest, knowing the device was quietly doing its job. Early the next morning, with anticipation, I returned to the woods. There was the result I'd hoped for, a large bobcat caught in the late trap. The trap held just enough to hold the animal without causing injury, proving that the method was not only effective but also humane. This success wasn't just luck, it was a calculated move based on experience and knowledge of bobcat travel patterns. Oh my, down, calm down. He's in the foot trap, he's caught good, he's not going anywhere. After experimenting with both trapping and shooting, I realized that each method has its own appeal, but when it comes to sheer efficiency and adrenaline, nothing beats using a rifle. Compared to waiting silently for hours by a trap, the rifle gives me more control, more action, and more satisfying results. With a well-calibrated scope and a high-velocity bullet, I can take down targets from over 200 yards away, cleanly, quickly, and with unparalleled accuracy. That's why, after many hunts and countless observations, I believe, the rifle is not just a tool, it is the heartbeat of the hunt.